Hey everybody, today is Saturday, and it's time for a vlog. We have not been to Dollywood in quite a while. It's been about probably two months, really, since Passholder Day. So we're going to head up to Dollywood, stay up a night in Pigeon Forge, probably get some food, leave probably tomorrow morning is our plan right now. It's a head for Saturday for one night, uh, get some breakfast tomorrow morning, and if all goes to plan, there's a comic book store by the Ball of Wigs in Knoxville. It's really the sphere in Knoxville. If you watch The Simpsons, you know it's really full of wigs. So with that being said, let's hit the road to Dollywood. Seymour. Oh, I see more mountains. So pretty. We are almost there. We're about 20 minutes from our hotel. And then... Dollywood! You excited? I'm excited. It's been far too long since we've been to these mountains and I'm... It's been like a whole two months. It's been a whole two months. I'm almost three. Thank you. And I've missed it. A month and 43 days. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jeremy, what did you just say? So you're always wrong. No. No, no. What did you just say? I said, this guy from me is going very slow. <laughs> so, just a little backstory. Every time we come to Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg, Jeremy wants to get up at the crack of dawn and leave by 5 o'clock. I always get up by the crack of dawn normally. Though. He always says. He's a morning person. I'm a night owl. I we, used to be a night owl. Yeah, he's changed for work. but So he always wants to get up early, leave the house by 6, get here by 9, and like do what? <laughs> I don't know. Get the day started. You can't even check into your hotel. I can check so, into whatever I want to check into. Me, me and me, I want to get up at like 7, like a normal human being. Mm -hmm on a Saturday and leave the house by like 8.39 and he just said well Tom Stephan leaves the house the owl's already outside <laughs> and he just said this is a great time to get here this is perfect timing we have we have, this is perfect I don't want you and to then he said what'd you say I don't have an idea what's going on right now he said you're always right Stephanie you're always right in 1000 so. feet oh. turn left Ten left. That's a big vehicle for this little road there, sir. All right. So we're like ten minutes away. And are you gonna say it for the camera? You're always wrong. Say it. Say it. Say it. You can do it. You Stop can do it. Me. Whatever. He said I was always right. You are always R I G H T. Oh. Hey, I'll take it. You spelled it. He spelled it. You guys, you heard it here. We are checked into our room. It's about 1:30. We made it to our happy place. Bed check. That's why the pillows are all messy. I always check the bed every time. These little rooms are nice. We've stayed at this hotel probably a dozen times or more now. Uh, the Hilton Garden Inn on Teaster. TV right there. Fireplace. Uh, all our filming stuff here. Uh, we got the gimbal there. Battery. Uh, backup charger. Fans. Got to have fans for the theme park. I'll tell you one thing. You don't realize how big of a difference those things make until you actually have them. Wait, what? Uh, nothing. What? I always tell Stephanie. Do you I always tell Steph, you don't need them. Just don't tell her that. <laughs> Fireplace. And then the balcony. So this is one of our favorite hotels to stay at, just in general. Um, you know, it's just a always clean, always great staff. Our balcony here. We love being on the balconies here. You can see the mountains out there. Uh, if you are a diamond member, there's diamond parking right there. Those first two spots. And also two on the other sides of where we're parked at. So you can see the top of our car a little bit. Dollywood! <laughs> We have made it. It is super duper packed. Yeah. Uh, judging from the parking lot. Thankfully, Jeremy splurged this time and we went for the preferred parking. So We've actually only parked in the regular one time. And I will tell you, we'll show you the hill. But the, besides the hill coming back, the preferred is definitely the way to go. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This is the preferred parking. If you guys know, parked up here, we're literally four cars down. And then right there's the entrance. Now this is the. the hill you, we always joke well, about. if you haven't been to um, Niagara Falls and you've been to Clifton Hill, I think this is. The Clifton Hill, the Smokies. You think it's worse or? Oh, a thousand times easier. Is it? Yeah. I think Clifton. Yeah, probably. But it's similar. Clifton Hill is like a loop. You go backwards, upside down, just to get up there. <laughs> Clifton Hill is tough. This is what I but it was fun. About right here, because this is the. Uh, yeah, this is the the, the worst ride. ride at Dollywood is this hill getting to preferred I love this song look I spot a Jeremy in the wild Jeremy in the wild hey Jer hey does this music make you want to get up and do a jig 
Yeah, put it on the banjo. If I can go into a hoedown, are those things? Is that what they're called? Hoedowns? Am I making that up? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never been to one. <laughs> We're still here in Dollywood. Jeremy's gonna eat some nasty crab melt something. I will not touch that, but if you like it, you guys will get the first. I haven't tried it yet. The it's first look here. Actually, done. this might go up after the Dollywood video, so you won't be the first ones to see it, but. It's, it's alright. Okay. Real moment. I'm sitting here fanning myself. It's hot. Do you see that? That is my hair in the fan. How do I do these things, guys? All right, we've made it to the Tanger Outlets. Gonna do a little shopping. We're going right now into Vera Bradley because who loves Vera Bradley? Me. I do a lot of travel for work, and uh, the current Vera Bradley, we have four or five wrapped Vera Bradley bags. I travel to use, but maybe four or five, maybe four, I can't remember. But anyways, the main one I travel with, I had it for like 12 years, 10 years. So it's like a good bag. Never had a problem. They can just wipe off the dirt. It's, uh, it's like a duffel bag style. I need to get another yeah. one though. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna take the old lady into Vera Bradley <laughs> yeah, and uh, one more. try to find but him a new one. High, high quality stuff. We've never been to this outlet store before. We even go to the main location. Uh, we'll check out the outlet and see what the deals going on with them. This is very similar to the one we have now that I use for travel. I think now it might be a hair bigger than this one. Yeah, but this one you could put a body in. Like, yeah, I think this the one's one huge. next to This is the big, big one here. This is it's the extra large, so it's like, that big up there. Yeah, this one's 155 and it's either 40 or 50 final price. I think we pay like 154 hours, so it's a little bigger than yeah. this one. It's That's a little really too small quite though, a good deal. No, I think that would be good for like half a body. <laughs> half a body. Jared, we found yeah. the Star Wars collection. <laughs> I didn't get that from my backpack for work. I got to bring that. my laptop to work that and everything. That is so neat. Look at That's, Grogu. Uh, I love Grogu. They have a price on it. It's all 50% off there. I thought, I saw, I don't know. But look at Grogu. That's awesome. Oh, look at that little backpack. There's Leia. There's a little bag. That's Princess Leia and R2-D2. This is a cute, they even have the flip flops down there, babe. That's cool. <laughs> all right, so Steph got some new shades. Cool little design there. These were 65 on the 1490. Yeah, I don't know if I can take it out now. It's a hard time for her to get in the bag. But we got another. A bag we there. went with a, the smaller tote one because yeah, it's either just a hair bigger or a hair yeah. smaller than ours, but it also is a tote versus mine does. It's got inside pockets, and it was uh, 175 on stuff for 70. Yeah. So good deal. Guess what? Oh lord, what? <laughs> box lunch. Yep, next door is box lunch. Where is it? Right here in front of you. Box oh, lunch. Oh, right here. Then we'll go over to Disney Outlet too if you want to. Okay. You know a funny story? What? I went to box lunch on my lunch break. Mark. Thought I was actually a food like box lunch. <laughs> so we, just, we just bought you guys pizza for lunch. You didn't know what it was. If you ever work in IT, uh, Chris and Mindy, Chris about t-shirts, you know about this for sure. If you ever work in IT, you get tons of pizza. <laughs> so our pizza guy. But yeah, that was funny. So we always get pizza. Yep. Thanks. I love the store. I love the section. This is like the Disney princesses. We have this little backpack. We have this one here. I think that's Pocahontas. Is that Pocahontas? Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Jeremy's yelling at me over here. Let's go see. You want to hold my bag? Why? What'd you find? It's a Mandalorian Grogu shirt that's pinned together that I can't open. Look at it. I guess. Oh, that's cool. They have a whole kind of book kind of style. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a little, a little small for me, I think. I think it might be a couple pounds too. Too big. And I found Jeremy's book. Did you write this book? I did. I'm gonna be a comedian one day. My jokes are fantastic. He has the worst dad jokes. He's not even a father. He doesn't even have children. But he's such an old man. Jeremy, why did the astronaut move to the suburbs? Uh, is out of the world? He needed more space. What did the fish say when he hit the wall? Damn. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm in trouble. I love these backpacks. And I've been looking for one. One hasn't spoken to me yet. <laughs> Wookie, C -3PO, and um, enough for me to buy it. I got one. Which one did I get? I got the Grinch one. Because I love the Grinch. He is my yeah. favorite guy. But I'm looking for another one. And man, I just don't see one. And here's some more lounge flies. Look, dear. Do you remember? Look at this. That's so cool. That one's really neat. Oh my god. I wonder gosh. if the inside's got a special. Uh... It probably does. They always do. These bags are so amazing. I just need to find one that I want to wear, like use all the time. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. 
And they have little wallets. Look at these earrings. Oh, I love this store. I love it, love it, love it. All right, making our way into the Disney outlet. Yes, ma'am. Jeremy? Yes, ma'am. That store wasn't very good. No, it was all right. Um, I don't even know if it's still open, but the Disney in Times Square was like the ultimate Disney store. It was yeah. like what, two or three levels. It was amazing. I and think then, your uh, words inside were what? It just didn't have the same pizzazz. pizzazz. And then like, <laughs> um, we used to have one or two, or actually two in the Nashville area. One slid off the mill, the one at Cold Springs is closed. Uh, but really just the best one is honestly the uh, Disney Springs one. Yeah, that one's awesome. We, we started going that one back. Was it Disney Village? Yeah, I think it was, it was Disney Village, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, back way before it turned to Disney Springs. Yeah. But, but yeah, that one in New York City was just amazing. The thing like the Funko Pop store, uh, we'll put that video in the description below. Theming wise, but as Disney for the New York one, they had like the life size props. You could walk in the castle. Mm -hmm. That was back before we did filming, though. It was yeah. Really cool. The sun's going down, but it's not going down fast enough. Ooh, we're getting hungry. We're going to get some dinner. I think we're going to go to somewhere going? new. Somewhere new? No. Do that again. Somewhere new. <laughs> no, I think we're going to Big Daddy's. What? Right? What? Yeah. And of course, no trip to Pigeon Forge is complete without a, a trip to Big Daddy's. We love this place. They have the best um, wings here. It's their original wood fire roasted wings. Absolutely delicious. There's my date for the night. I like that shirt. Thank you. It's from Seligman. Arizona. From the Roadkill Cafe, which was amazing. It was amazing. I love this place, guys. Oh. It was in here a few dozen, hundred, thousand, million times. Yeah. But we it was a, good. We got a pizza that we never get. We got the big deal. And we did have we had some friends come in town. Well, last year. They live in Denver, Colorado now. They did live in Vegas at the time. They move around and travel a lot. Mm -hmm. We did have some friends meet us up here in town. We we uh, all took them here. They got the big deal. We had one by them. I was like, Yeah, the big it has deal. a bunch of dill pickle pickles on it, obviously. Alfredo sauce and dill. Alfredo sauce, ranch. Yeah, uh, really it just good. sounds really, yeah, it's, I don't remember it, but Jeremy said it was really good, and I love dill pickles, so I'm and excited about with the that. OG. Yeah, he loves those wings. I was telling him. OG wings, though, yeah. Yeah. We tried a different one last time. Uh, the spicy ones, which are good. They're good. We got to try the honey ones still one time. Those OGs are the best. One day I was going to order 20 pounds of OG. <laughs> All right, we've already kind of destroyed these, but there's the wings, delicious. And here are the two small pieces we got. Look at that, all those pickles, oh my goodness, that looks delicious, it smells so good. And then this is the pepperoni hey, pizza, and Jeremy added salami to it, mm -hmm. so. Oh, we'll have pizza later on tonight, or early tomorrow morning, one. <laughs> yeah, we will, it'll go home with us, but it's good. All right, we've made our way over to the island. And we're not gonna get out and walk around. We just wanted to do a drive through. We do one every time if we don't come by here. We just want to see it. But look at these new lights they have over the little bridge here. Jeremy thought this was really cool. Yeah. I think we made a bad decision coming here, Jer. Woo, be careful. That was a close one. There are tons of people, even. There are cars everywhere. They're having a Pontiac show. I did not know there was a Pontiac show. And yeah, we saw, uh... there is. An old Pontiac station wagon. I have no clue what model it was or it's what getting year. Dark. I can't see you. I don't know much about Pontiac. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Let there be light. I can't see nothing now. Yes, you can. I, can't, I don't even know what's raining outside. Is that really? Yeah. Oh boo! Well, Ooh. we thought it would look like it was going to. At least it's the end of the day. We've gotten all of our stuff done. But yeah, what did you say we saw? Uh, old Pontiac station wagon. I don't know the model. I don't know the year. I don't know much about the old Pontiac cars. I uh, do some other cars, or especially newer cars, but <clears throat> they looked amazing. Like, that's like an old, kind of really like a Bel Air, maybe, but like a station wagon version of it. Just looked really nice. Okay, maybe I'm wrong here, but didn't did the Adams family have a have a station wagon like that? Yeah, a limousine. They had a limousine, yeah. But what show am I thinking of? But they had. I remember one just like that in some show. I don't know. I can't think of what it is. But the life and times of the Pontiac. Um, definitely not. <laughs> All right, we are back on Teaster. Um, I think that's gonna be it for the night. So I guess the next Pontiac time you see Illinois. us, oh my goodness, would you stop? The next time you see us will be in the morning. 
All right, it's another glorious morning here in Pigeon Forge. We're checking out of our hotel. We're gonna go head over to the Old Mill and get some breakfast. We've never eaten there, so let's go check that out. All right, we made it to the Old Mill. Yeah. Jer, he's eating his uh, banana nut muffin. Yeah, they're warm, they're fantastic. Got a little free oranges to give you here. That's yep. pretty cool. Look at that plate. Oh my gosh, and Jared's looks good too. Oh yeah. Let's dig in. Jer? How is your breakfast? Fantastic. Got a whole chocolate cake too. Yeah, we got a whole chocolate cake. Here's our cakes. They split it up into two. And uh, yeah, it's the old meal. So now where are we going? Uh, gas. And then uh, comic book store, not so. All right. Get there. Yes. It's a ball full of wigs. It has a thousand plus million wigs in there. <laughs> Jerry's excited. We're going into Tommy and Comics. So Jeremy has been on his Funko Pop kick ever since Funko Hollywood and this store, oh my goodness, it is mostly Funko Pops. They have everything. Look at these from Fright Five Night, Five, I can't speak, Five Nights at Freddy's, Chica Freddy, Bonnie, look at these, they're so cool. You excited, Jer? I am. Look, there's an the Oshpuff from Pokemon. And a horsey. Let's go. Watch what? The Dragonite. Okay, now this is cool. Michael Myers with the Myers house. And Doc with the clock tower. Chair. They have everything here. Look, there's Holy Christmas on the bicycle. So we're back in the car from the comic store. So I'm going to show you a couple of the things we got. Um, I got this really cool Frankenstein for our wall. It glows in the dark um, for Halloween because we always decorate for Halloween in our house. So that was cool. And then we got a bunch of Funko Pops. Jeremy's working currently on the uh, Marvel Zombie line. So he got that one. And I don't want to take all these out, but I got um, a couple Wonder Woman ones to add for my collection that I've been looking for. And then... I got this Wonder Woman here, which is freaking awesome. And Jeremy just got one of these soda ones of Vision. So that's what we got. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We don't usually do these. But we thought we'd show you just a quick weekend out of town. Some of the things we do. And yeah, so we'll see you guys later. Tell them bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us on our vlog, and that's it, and that's all.